Good morning, children. For today's class, we are going to practice life skills. Our topic will be, I am independent. What do you mean by independent? It means not depending on another for livelihood or subsistence. Kosak na mo, kosak dan. Midang tirin chan lava, kosak dan. Di na, ani. We all are unique, right? Different people can do different activities, either independently or depending upon someone. Kandang lambik veka, tro dang lam na kan nei cheva. Midang ina, anti te ka. Kalau ti te ker lau te, kati te ang ka midang ina ti te ker lau te. Mo tin, midang te pui na mang kanin emo, midang te pui na tel lawin emo. Bokan kan lo di tayo ni. Kaka, kandang lam na tso. Ani. Tiro. When we do things independently, it gives us the feeling of satisfaction. It helps us to build our self-confidence. And it encourages us to try out the other things and do it independently in the future. Right? Midang te. Pui na. ตะลวะมะเนี่ยทิลกันติเทยนี่ขะจวนลุงออยนะมินเปอะมอตินมะนี่อินรินตอกนะนี่ตัวคันทุยตะกินมินจันปุยะตินกันหมอหุนเลเ
in chitern weg de ro in tom no in klep termem nang mani in in klep chinem mi dang de puina de lawin in batchit mo in puan twate in dawel de ka in klep chinem mi dang puina de lawin in homework de ka mi dang puina de lawin nang mani in de tem mo ka ang zong zong ka mani in de tei ani chuanin you have to draw a happy smiley all right but if you can't do and if you need someone's help you have to draw sad smiley all right you can also do this in a sheet of paper our last activity will be wrapping a gift present to amintyamangtara you have to do this by yourself materials required are in mamo tortetsu an empty box bom rock in ni ang ang mo gift paper le kamoy in ni lo in ni ram chang lo ani po in you can use a sheet of paper all right and the third one scissors bakje fourth silo tape or glue and the last one you can use other decoration material ribbon ti te ka mo ka ang te ka in du du ka a che mo nan in mang thei ani now you will watch a short video on how to wrap a gift hi i'm lisa burnbach for howdini.com and today we're all about wrapping presents just in time for the holidays rod martinez is here from papyrus the high end stationery and gift wrap store and he's going to show us some tricks of the trade on how to gift wrap different size boxes it is so hard rod to figure out how much paper to use and i'm always wasting it right that is a common mistake that people make so what you want to do is set it down and i want to make sure that the paper comes around the box right and you know you have enough to cover it so you can let the paper down now and we know we went up to here right so you know i'm just going to start cutting a little after that so you can have a little extra so we want to go probably up to there now how do you know how much to use for the side now i'm going to say i need about this much here uh -huh. which that covers right. about half so about half would be up to here. Now I'm going to go a little bit further. Just cut right here. That should be fine. You always want to have your seams done at the bottom. Right. You know, you don't want the seam to be at the top. So what you want to do is again make sure that it's centered. See how that's kind of in the center there. What we're going to do is we're going to Looking put good. Thank you. You put tape on first? Yes. You don't risk it. Tape is your friend. Double-sided tape is even better. If you have um, a rough edge, you didn't cut it straight, and you can always fold the paper just a little. And now we've got a straight edge. And I like the way that looks too. It looks much nicer. We're going to bring give some of this double-sided tape. Bring it up. So now the sides. Just going to cut this. We're going to cut a little bit off. This is where I sometimes make the mistake. Everything's perfect and then I cut too much. You know, cut less first. Right. All right, so again, we want to fold this down and we want to put some tape on here. And the trick of doing this is just really getting a nice crease. So you want to crease it. Uh-huh. We took it all the way to the end here. Right. We're going to take it all the way to the end over on this side and then just crease it. I always like to use just a little bit a friend. A friend. We're going to put a little friend. bit of tape on this end and a little bit of tape on this end. And what that's going to do is it's just going to make your job easier. Okay. So now we're going to fold across. Uh huh. And again, go all the way down to the edge here and crease. We're going to fold across. See, and what that tape just did is it's holding it down for you. You don't have to do anything else. Right. So we're going to go all the way down. To the end here, a little bit of tape over. Don't be afraid of this side. tape, is what you're saying. You're saying use use enough to not um, have to retape it. And that's how you do it. A new challenge would be a different size mm -hmm. box and okay. a big one that might not 
fit into every roll of paper, right? Right, and I can show you how to wrap this one. Okay. Now what we're going to do on the ends here is we're going to do a little different than we did with the square box. We're going to fold the ends in first. Oh. So again, what we're going to do is fold this down and crease it nicely. And you can use the table as help with that. I'm going to fold that and crease it nicely there. And then you're just going to do the same for the top. Mm -hmm. So you can use your fingers, go all the way to the edge of the box, crease that, go all the way to the edge, crease that. Now we have a little overage here, so we're just going to cut this down, trim it just a little. So you just remember, keep the seam to the bottom and keep the seam under all the time. So we're going to use a little bit of double-sided tape. Again, you always have to remember to not come up too far because you're only going to come up so far right. with this side here. You don't, and you don't want the tape to show. You don't want the tape to show. So now that we've got it nice and creased, we want to fold the edge here just a little. And now we're going to use some of this double-sided tape to hold the paper down. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now we just want to fold it up. Make sure you crease it, and there we go. Look at these beautiful boxes you wrapped. They're great, aren't they? Well, you helped too. Well, uh, a little. Well, <laughs> thank you very much. I learned a lot. Great.